I'm sorry, a lot of things could get you kicked out of a library. Talking too loud, writing in the books. But what if someone tried to kick you out of a library simply because of the color of your skin? Nine-year-old Ronald McNair was obsessed with space. So much so that one day, without his parents' knowledge, he walked about a mile to his local library to check out some books on science and space. Now this was in South Carolina in 1959. So while technically the library was a public library, his brother said it wasn't so public for black folks. After collecting his books, Ronald proceeded to check out when the librarian told him this library is not for colors. He politely told her he would still like to check out with the books to which she responded by threatening to call the police. A classic Karen move. But little nine-year-old Ronald wasn't afraid. He sat up at the counter and said, okay, I'll wait. The police came in expecting a disturbance, but instead they just found a kid at a library trying to check out some books. Ronald's mother caught wind of the incident and she quickly came down to the library, worried for her son's safety. After a conversation between the police, the librarian, and his mother, Ronald was able to check out the books. He never let this incident or others interfere with his passion for space. And he eventually earned a PhD in physics from MIT in 1976. And he later applied for NASA's astronaut program. Ronald's brother said that many people at the time thought Ronald's dreams to go to space were just science fiction. But where others saw science fiction, Ronald saw science possibility. He was accepted into NASA's astronaut program and he ended up becoming the second black American to go to space. In 1986, Ronald was unfortunately one of the astronauts aboard the fatal Challenger space shuttle mission. He perished in the mission and was only 35 years old. While his life was cut short, his impact was undeniable. So much so that that very same library that once turned him away due to the color of his skin is now named after him today.